This is the Animation Minute. Packed week, so let's go straight into Phil's tweet here. That post really neat art here. And you can see the Studio Ghibli version of a Star Wars inspired design. Very nice. Daniel is posting here a really cool clip about flying and free falling, he says here, but it has really cool action. And this section is really neat. Dynamo's character in the back while this character comes down and starts running on the side of the wall. Very cool. Watch the whole thing on his Twitter account. Speak of awesome. Here's really cool animation from animation student Matei Niago Foxa. I hope that is pronounced correctly, but it's super cute. Basically characters, but it's really well executed. Nice look, nicely done. Cool thread from Croissant talking about how he feels animation. It's more about flow and rhythm, kind of piggybacking off last week's Animation Minute post that I featured of his, where he has a really cool shot with a nice animation, nice camera move, talking about flow and rhythm. Next up, Jasmine is posting this Unreal Engine project. It looks so cute. You can click on the ArtStation link and you can see here the process and how awesome it is. I highly recommend to check this out. So, so cool. Speaking of cool, you know, a week can't go by without pixel art, outer chill. I love it. Mike is posting the Anim State Industry Survey results. Over 400 replies, a lot of information to go through. That's oh, that's right, more pixel art, but I love this. Look at that. That's super cool. Had to put that in there. Justin is posting a peek at his 80s He-Man Toymation clip and one more tweet here. You can see the time lapse. Absolutely insane. Stop motion never ceases to amaze me. It's so brutal. The amount of work, I can never do that. I love this. It's so cool. More Animation Mentor, this time they are announcing the 2D Animation Walk Cycles and Character Movement Workshop. Nice! This was a really cool animated looping GIF here. Look at that. Crazy designs, really nice shapes, nice flow. Had to put that in there. Snoopcat, really cute little 2D animation, all done. Grease Pencil and Blender. Studio Mayala is hiring 2D frame-by-frame -frame animators and cleanup artists. There's a post here about mainframe industries and Anne is saying they're looking for a lead and a senior animator. That's very cool. Look at that. You can see the inside of it and then how it finishes. I love this. Really cool presentation. Niantic is looking for a 3D animator, a 3D artist in the San Francisco location. Another job posting. Cartoon Brew is posting a book preview. Anime architecture, imagine worlds and endless mega cities. That is going to be absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get this. Not animation related per se in terms of showing animation or anything with job postings, but I thought this was really cool. The motive is giving full credit to the people who left the team, as Dan says here. That is absolutely a classy move, and I wish more studios would be a bit more relaxed in terms of their credit policies and politics. It's always kind of muddled. Josh Sobel is announcing freaking awesome studios. Very cool. Check out the tweet with all the information about all the services that he's going to provide. This is very self-serving, but I saw it on Twitter and I thought it was really nice that Jessica was tagging me here with the work that we did during the workshop. If you're interested in the workshop, there is a link with all the information in the description on this YouTube channel, of course. Last but not least, Animal Logic is posting that the Vancouver Studio is looking for a lead animator to work on Super Pets. And that's it for this week. You can always find the Animation Minute every Monday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.